Question 2 of this exercise says add. So basically we have to add the like terms that are given in the question or we have to add the expressions that are given in the question. So let's start with the first part. So in the first part, the terms are 3mn, minus 5mn, 8mn and minus 4mn. So as we can see that these are like terms. They all are having the same variable m and n. So we can add them together. So let's add them together. So it will be 3mn plus and minus will become minus. So it will be minus 5mn plus 8mn. And again plus and minus will become minus. So it will be minus 4mn. So plus 3mn minus 5mn will give us minus 2mn plus 8mn and minus 4mn. So when we solve it even further minus 2 plus 8 will give us plus 6 mn and minus 4 mn. So when we solve it further, it will be 2 mn. Now in the second one, the expressions that are given are t minus 8 tz, 3 tz minus z and z minus t. So when we will add the like terms, the terms with t, the terms with z and the terms with tz are the like terms. So t minus t is 0. Minus 8tz plus 3tz will give us minus 5tz and minus z and plus z is also 0. Now let's move on to the third part. The expressions that are given are minus 7mn plus 5, 12mn plus 2, 9mn minus 8, minus 2mn minus 3. So as we can see that the terms with m and n are like terms and the constant terms are like terms. So minus 7mn plus 12mn will give us 5mn and 5mn plus 9mn will give us 14mn and when we will subtract 2mn from it, it will become 12mn. Now we will solve the like the constant terms. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 minus 8 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. Now let's move on to the fourth part. The expressions that are given are a plus b minus 3, b minus a plus 3 and a minus b plus 3. So as we can see that the terms with a, the terms with b and the constant terms are the like terms. So a minus a is 0. So similarly we will have only a that will be left over and plus b plus b will give us 2b and minus b will give us plus b. Minus 3 and plus 3 is 0, so only plus 3 will be left over. Now let's move on to the fifth part. The expressions that are given are 14x plus 10y minus 12xy minus 13, 18 minus 7x minus 10y plus 8xy and plus 4xy. Now we will solve the like terms. As we can see that the terms with x is the like terms. So 14x minus 7x will give us 7x. 10y and minus 10y will basically give us 0. Now we will solve the terms with xy. Minus 12xy plus 8xy will give us minus 4xy and plus 4xy will give us 0. Now minus 13 plus 18 will give us plus 5. Now the expressions that are given in the sixth part are 5m minus 7n. 3n minus 4m plus 2, 2m minus 3mn minus 5. So the like terms are the terms with m as we can see. So these are the like terms. 5m minus 4m will give us 1m and plus 2m will give us 3m. Now we will solve the terms with n. Minus 7n plus 3n will give us minus 4n. Now we will solve the constant term plus 2 and minus 5 will give us minus 3 and we will write minus 3 m n because there is no other like terms with m and n. So we will write it as it is. Now let's move on to the seventh part. The terms that are given are 4 x square y minus 3 x y square minus 5 x y square and plus 5 x square y. So the like terms are with x square y and with x y square. So when we solve them 4 x square y plus 5 x square y will give us 9 x square y 
and minus 3xy square minus 5xy square will give us minus 8xy square. Now in the eighth part, the expressions that are given are 3p square q square minus 4pq plus 5 minus 10p square q square 15 plus 9pq plus 7p square q square. So as we can see that the terms with p square and q square are the like terms. So 3p square q square minus 10p square q square will give us minus 7p square q square and minus 7p square q square plus 7p square q square will give us 0. Now we will move on to the next like term. So minus 4pq and plus 9pq will give us plus 5pq. Now we will solve the constant term 5 plus 15 will give us 20. Now let's move on to the ninth part. The expressions that are given are AB minus 4A, 4B minus AB and 4A minus 4B. So the like terms are the terms with AB. So plus AB and minus AB will give us 0. And the other like term is minus 4A and plus 4A. That is also 0. Now the another like term is 4B and minus 4B. That will also give us 0. So the final answer of this question will be 0. Now let's move on to the 10th part. The expressions that are given are x square minus y square minus 1 and y square minus 1 minus x square and 1 minus x square minus y square. So the terms that are the like terms are with x square and with y square and constant term. So x square and minus x square will be 0. So minus x square will be left over. Similarly, minus y square and plus y square will be 0. So minus y square will be left over and minus 1 and minus 1 will be minus 2 and minus 2 and plus 1 will be minus 1. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.